good morning. Day two of our mini adventure. And we came down this wee track last night, it was dark. Couldn't see a thing. To this place here. This place is called the Bow Rig. Absolutely lovely accommodation. We're up there in the loft apartment. So we drove down here last night. Dark. Those two lights were on. But then when we came round here, as a pickup, we came round here. The lights in this little bar was open, and there's a little restaurant as well. So it's a big, like, wooden structure, but very, very nice inside. So the bow rig, more than just a campsite. It is indeed. Just came up to a field just at the front of the bow rig and this is what looks like the camping field and this camping field has electric hookups and water at all these posts huge amount of rain last night so I think there's something for everyone if you've wanted a bit of wild camping, I'm sure there's a spot for you somewhere out there. Camping, nice family tent. You've got electric hookup and water. You've got toilet facilities in the bow rig. You've got the luxury of a lovely restaurant, a bar, communal lounge area outside seating and if you've fancy bringing a caravan along there's electric hookup points spaces for five caravans something for everyone or if you've none of those you've just got your car you get the little loft apartment that we're in which is lovely gets great feedback we'll certainly be leaving some good feedback too we really enjoyed it Great night's sleep. Boys love the adventure. Thank you very much. So we're on the way home and we've nipped into this new exhibition called The Sill. And that looks at the landscape around Hadrian's Wall. That's second more gap there. We were hoping to get there. Oh, there's Berwick. We were hoping to get there, but very, very wet today, pouring with rain. This is something I can vouch for. Last night, went out to walk T Dog. Very dark skies where we were. Very little light pollution. For sure, this landscape inspires us. It's lovely. Okay, these are rocks that you place onto this area over here and my assistant is going to place a rock on and we're going to see what it is. So this rock is wind cell dolerite. This is a two player game. Your town has been flooded. You've got a budget of a million pounds. Choose what interventions you'd like to put in place peatland restoration river dredging and that takes it off your budget oh yeah, yeah. what should we get left? 500 left Both players have reduced the <laughs> level a lot, but could do better. Have another go. Okay. So 
So this is uh, a new building, 2017. Just across from Steel Rig, which you can see over there, and there's a car park up there. The rain has stopped, so I think I'm going to go and try and get to Sycamore Gap. So if you ever drive past this way, you'll see this building. Very unusual. Grass roof. Great views over towards Hadrian's Wall there. And Northumberland. So we stayed about half an hour away. But if you're planning your visit, that wee pub just across. Be a good choice. Good choice for location. I've never, never been in it. Okay. Let's get these boys back inside. Setting off from Steel Rig Car Park. See if I can get to Sycamore Gap. Okay, that's where we're off to. This is just a viewing point. So I can just make out a tree. I'm talking, but it's bound to be windy, so... It's never great sound when it's windy with the iPhone. Slipped on my backside back there. It wasn't fun, I'm absolutely soaked. Okay, up here. Sometimes, nice to turn round. My bum is soaked. Now you can actually see Sycamore Gap from the main road which is again from the centre of your view there A centurion probably walked along here 2,000 years ago. I think it was probably a punishment posting. <laughs> Certainly in the winter. I can't imagine there'd be many people volunteering to man a wall between the north point of the Roman Empire to the Picts. But hey ho, there's 
It's always someone worse off than yourself. Even the Romans must have thought that. Right, hood down, heating up, started off cold, took off a couple of layers. I love this bit in a hill. See when you get to this bit in a hill, there's a great wee feeling. You put in a lot of effort, you know you're nearly at the top, or you're hoping you're nearly at the top because there's always another summit. When you get up, you have a look around. Woo! You just feel you just feel great. Even with the wind, you know, I think sometimes with the wind and the rain it just makes it even more of a challenge, it's even more fun, he's away over that way. Great view of the wall here. Okay, keep clapping on. Okie dokie, Mile Castle 39. That's where I'm at. I'll put that up on the screen. That was with my Ordnance Survey mapping app. There's a little button on there. Click it, it'll find your location. Pinpoint that on a map with a red triangle. You can then use that against your paper map clearly identify where you are. 3G signal here. Um, I'm on O2. Don't know what the phone signal's like. Now, there is lots of climbs, but it's not too far. And just rest. Just do a part, rest. Don't feel as if you have to climb the whole way. You know, rest halfway up, turn round, have a wee look. Don't be rushed by anyone else if it's busy. Just stand off to the side. We've all got different abilities. G dog. It's not a sheer drop down the other side but it's steep guess what I can see okay I've made it that feels good now, I've made it here but you know I'm going up to the top there there's no way I'm going to let that that climb sit there but what I will do I'll just check in with my wife and my boys. They're in the cafe at the sill. I'll just let them know where I am. Right, really quite steep here. So here we go. I made it. And over there, right in the centre, is the road. So you can actually see Sycamore Gap from the road. We did get a photograph of it. So let's go down now.
steep, steep as in, make sure you stand upright, don't lean forward, especially not if you've got a dog pulling you along. Slight lean back, and people think uh, going up's hard. Wait till you go down, you know, take it steady on your knees. Don't become a casualty just because you're getting keen to get down or someone's behind you rushing you. Leave a gap as well. You don't want someone behind pushing into someone else, knocking you all over. Now I know you think, oh, we'll just let him off the lead. No. No. Last thing you want is a sheep getting scared, him running after it. <laughs> Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, and his band of men. Rob from the rich gave to the poor Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Robin Hood. I might cut that bit out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go down here a bit. Take a photograph. And then climb that last, last little bit. Bit more yet. There's another little path here. So that's obviously another popular spot I can imagine in the in the summer. I certainly wouldn't be singing Robin Hood. There's no one here today. It's a Monday, middle of November, pouring. What it was. Yes, I've made it. A little break now, take a photograph. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the top of this one. I know I could go the easier route, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I nearly forgot. Um, just gonna check in, let everyone know I'm safe. I know it's gonna be windy. There we go, second more gap. Right, I'm just going to check in. Righty ho. I just want to go up this side. a great view. I'm not even at the top yet. Okay, windy up here now. That's steep.
That's another reason why your dog needs to be on a lead. Okay, let's head back. Come on then, let's back we go. Okay, that really is it now. I can see the car, steel rig in the background, car park just up ahead. It's probably really windy and noisy on the camera. You won't be able to hear me. But that was fantastic. If you get a chance to come to Hadrian's Wall, Steel Rig, Sycamore Gap, get along. Half an hour walk out there, brisk walk, half an hour back, or take longer and enjoy the view, take a picnic. Thank you, thanks for watching.